Hello, I'm Craig Chisholm from Kuteva AgriScience. I'm standing here in our field of innovator once more. As you can see, the crop has now come through very well. Uh, the pre-em herbicide which went on after the rain uh, has done a great job. There are, are no weeds present. You can see that the uh, fertilizer application has now gone on and is actually needing a little bit of rain uh, to take it into the ground. We'll choose to put a curative active, some cymoxanil, probably option, in with our uh, rosette spray uh, purely to take out any blight which there may be in the bottom of the crop, if there was any on the seed at all uh, when it came in. Uh, there's not been very much blight pressure in the last uh, week or so since the crop came through but that's going to change as we move into the latter part of this week. Blight Spy is indicating that conditions are going to be much more favourable for uh, late blight come Thursday uh, across a large portion of the potato growing area so uh, for us uh, being quite a long way from home looking for uh, a little bit of flexibility in our programme using Zorvec with its systemic activity to look after new growth uh, and being some distance uh, from the home base uh, is going to be to our advantage. So we would anticipate we'll be using two Zorvex here uh, on either seven or more likely on 10 days. Uh, and that'll help us with our irrigation scheduling as well because those extra days mean that uh, more of the labor can be uh, devoted to those tasks.